Ukraine-Russian war by the numbers. Let's get into the details. Hello, this is Chart GPT Today. So we're going to talk a little bit about the Ukrainian-Russian uh, war here and seeing what's going on by the numbers. Now, this is very difficult, so some of these numbers, the best kind of report I could come up with and see who's winning, who's losing, and where the direction is heading. Uh, and we're talking just the material things on the ground. Here's a quick chart about how big Russia is. Russia is 28 times the size. You can take a look at the birth rate in Ukraine. It was actually worse. A population, and this is kind of like the beginning of the war, 44 million versus 144. So it's about one-third of, of what Russia was. You can take a look at their economy. Economy uh, uh, in Russia was, was a, say, a half a trillion, and Ukraine was a tenth of that. And, of course, Russia is focused on oil exports, and Ukraine focused on uh, grain and, and agricultural products. Of course, here was kind of the standing uh, military situation prior to the war. Obviously, Russia has you know three, four, five times the the level of material and resources that the Ukrainians had. So the obvious situation there is that the Russians would have the advantage in a war of attrition. Of course, here is the uh, the amount of money so far. And this is after July 31st. It's been committed. Uh, to Ukraine, and and of course all you, this, these numbers are still floating and they're rising. I think the U.S. is, is much significantly higher than it's shown here, but it gives you an idea of how much well, who is who is contributing to the effort to Ukraine. Of course, that's made up the difference in the apparent uh, advantage the Russians have had. Breaking it down, I thought this chart was the most significant. Seeing who who who's really winning, who's lo losing here, and you can say this line, this kind of this line of contention. You see a lot of blogs out there. Basically, you know, he's going nowhere. There's a few blue areas here where the Russians, the like Ukrainians have done well, a few red areas. But for the most part, other than back and forth, nobody's really winning, are they? So they've been fighting for a long time, and it's uh, not really going anywhere, is it? Of course, if you look at the number of casualties, uh, it is pretty pretty steady here, close to getting close to 25,000 injured. Of course, here's the number, and this is very political, so I kind of broke it down. I'm not providing any links to support this, but this is my best uh, uh, call. Uh, there's a mainstream merit narrative there that obviously pro-Ukrainian from the West, being part of NATO, and mainstream would probably put the Russian around 100,000 uh, uh, Ukrainian conflict deaths. These are soldiers, and maybe on the Ukrainian side, maybe a little bit more at 100, 120. Uh, that's kind of the mainstream. Now, there'll be a plus and minus of that, but the, the numbers are all over the board. If you go into an alternative view, you know, the kind of the Colonel McGregor, Scott Ritter people, then the numbers become very lopsided. There's about 50,000 Russians and 400,000 Ukrainians. So you have to kind of pick your bias and, and go with it. So which is true, I'll let you decide that. But it's been a very hot political topic, to say the least. Uh, in terms of where people are fleeing to because of the conflict zone, Remember, they had 44 million in Ukraine, and what, 15 million went to Poland, 3 million to Russia, 3 million to Romania, 3 million to Hungary. So you can see half the countries left. So they're fighting over a country of 20 million now. Will those people return? It's hard to say. Amount of material lost and who's winning in terms of... And I kind of point to this. Now, I don't believe this chart. I think it is biased. However, I think what we can glean some information on this. I mean, they say the Russians just was slowly steady or losing. I'm not so sure that's true. But let's assume that whatever error rate in this chart is, is, is what it is. The interesting thing here is that the Russian line is, is linear, pretty much linear downward which may indicate that bias or not, but nevertheless, what is seems to be here is that whoever is doing this, even if they are Ukrainian biased, they're basically saying that Ukraine is starting to lose the war of attrition because at the start of the year, they have starting to tail off significantly compared to the Russian loss, losses. So that's an interesting point there. Uh, in terms of the strikes, you can see that the ramp up of the war, and it's been kind of, once you got the initial ramp up, uh, and you have to add on these longer range missiles. So it seems to be amping up, not calming down. You, you might think it's uh, uh, slowing down, but actually after, uh, say, August, September of last year, it's pretty steady upward. And what are the, well, so what are the chief uh, NATO ally uh, America's thinking? Let's take a listen to uh, what Mitch McConnell, uh, one of the leaders of the Senate in the U.S. Providing assistance for the Ukrainians to defeat the Russians that's the number one priority for the United States right now. 
Well, there you have it. Is that the number one priority of America right now? Is fighting Ukraine war? Kind of a, it is for the politicians, perhaps, because they're wanting to spend the money. Is that part of the military industrial complex? Well, but anyway, let's look at the the poll data from Gallup. It is it is still fairly supportive, but it's slowly slipping. Who's winning? Well, here's here's who thinks is winning. Neither side's winning, or you know, and if you had Russia and neither side winning, Ukraine is certainly not winning. It, it's a very stalemate war. Uh, maybe you give a slight advantage to the Russians because of their size and the fact that. Uh, Ukraine is starting to lose the war of attrition. And then take our online polling. Who's winning the war? Is Russia or Ukraine winning the war in your opinion? Let's find out if these data is true. Don't forget to subscribe.